Ja. Ja. Top. Ja, top hè, hier zo laag. Hi guys, welcome to a new Bearded v -Storm Rider review and today we are reviewing Thermo Gear Underwear produced by uh, Quark in Poland um, Quark does not stand for the food like the yogurty, more tightly packed yogurt uh, stuff Nay, uh, it stands for the particle in physics you know, Quark, the smallest particle ever found um, the owner from uh, Quark has a degree in physics and I thought that's a really nice name for uh, my product so uh, that's what she did. Um, today we're testing one of the products that they've been producing for 25 years without any big changes. They do that together with uh, PolarTech. PolarTech. Uh, they make the fabric and Quark makes the products. Um, they do that uh, for whitewater kayaking, they do it for the diving scene, they do it for the motorcycle scene, they do it for the walking scene, they do a lot of um, uh, stuff for a lot of different uh, areas, there are a lot of different people uh, who use it. Um, for the diving and the motorcycle scene, they make stuff which keeps your um, skin dry and therefore your body warm. Uh, the Polar Tech stretches four ways uh, and wicks away any moisture you have on your body, which uh, makes sure that you keep warm, especially when you sit still. And that's where the whole motorcycle stuff comes in. On the motorcycle, you're not really moving, especially when you're doing a big, nice tour. You just have the, the thermal gear on, you drive, you're just sitting still, sometimes the occasional corner. Uh, but most of the time you're just sitting still and that's why this stuff comes in so 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 great it just keeps your body warm uh, even though you're sitting still it keeps the air trapped the water away and the warmth in there um, I chose the high collar to review because it's just perfectly for my neck fits you know, and I don't need any other uh, collars anymore above or whatever. Uh, the zipper goes all the way open until the like upper chest area. So when you're inside somewhere, you just take your motorcycle jacket off, zip it open, and you vent. You get the little bit of cold air out. The warm air goes in again from the environment. You know, helps your body stay warm and uh, it just works uh, works perfectly to uh, vent your system. Up here, it's really, I don't know if you can really see it because it's black on black, of course. It's really soft fabric. Real soft, nice smooth fabric for the soft skin of your neck. Um, the only downside I see on this is when you uh, just like shaven two or three days ago, these little uh, hairs come out and they stick in here a little bit, which could, like, you know, chafe a little bit. Um, but not as bad as the uh, buff I have that really sticks in there, you know, and when I move my helmet, it just pulls the hairs with. And this just, yeah, just shaves a little bit. Uh, it's not that bad. For the rest, it's really warm. Goes all the way up to your uh, helmet up here. And it just it's it's perfect. The whole material is made of the Polartec uh, stretch material. Uh, the back is a little bit longer than the front. Don't know if when I hold it up like this, if you can see it. You can see the inner lining here goes a little bit further than the front. Um, that's of course handy on the motorcycle because you sit forward a little bit, and um, that way your back isn't exposed so it doesn't creep up. They're really, Quark is really minimalistic in their, uh, uh, the way they design everything. No pockets, no strange stuff, it's underwear so why do you need pockets in there? 
uh, no cool logos. The only logo on there is the logo here, which says Quark, and that's it. Minimalistic and already going strong for over 20 years, around 25 years. There are still people, Quark told me, and also Eco Motorwear, where I uh, got these uh, Quark underwear from, told me that there are people who already have this jacket or this thermal underwear for 25 years. Yes, it costs you around, depending on where you buy it, of course, around 100 euros for the, for the top. And uh, if I can remember correctly, around 70, 80 euros for the uh, pants. If that goes for 25 years, just, just, you know, just divide it, it's almost uh, 10 euros per year. for it so that's uh, absolutely nothing moving on from the jacket to the pants pants also really minimalistic the stretch uh, fabric is just it's perfect you know just one logo on there says quark that's it and you have like this little inner pocket I don't really know what it is but uh, it's a little mesh pocket I think you could put some paper money in there, you know, or uh, when you wash, maybe a, a scent ball, or I don't know how they really figured that, but it's great. Um, for me, for my body, uh, of course, you've seen the, the video where I'm uh, fitting it. Um, I have a double XL for the pants, and also a double XL, oh, triple XL for the top because it doesn't have to fit that tightly. You need to like have it a little bit loose, you know? It's not a um, real, like wh when you would drive in the summer, you want something tight on your body, which wicks away all the moisture and uh, makes sure that the air goes, flows past it so you lose your heat. You don't want that with this. You want this to contain a little bit of uh, air in between your skin and the garment, so um, it, keeps the warmth in there because air is a really bad uh, uh, conductor of heat. It insulates really like crazy. Um, I've been driving around with it now every day um, for the last two, three weeks and I've been wearing it the whole day and I would expect this to smell real bad but actually Don't smell anything. Under the armpits, you know, like really under the armpits, yes? No. Of course, I smell a little bit of my uh, body scent, just like when you would smell your arm, for example. It's, it, 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 smells, it smells like you've worn it, but it most certainly doesn't smell like old sweat or something. And I've been wearing it here, uh, working around the house on the outside a little bit, on the inside, vacuum cleaning. Uh, working up a little bit of a sweat and uh, no bad odors so that's really good uh, when you're on a long tour or whatever then um, yeah you don't have to wash it that regularly um, Quark does that with a purpose because it's adventure gear a lot of people who use uh, adventure gear go out for long periods of time or at least a week or a few days or something like that and you don't want to put on your warm clothing that smells like the backside of a cow, you know. Um, Cassia, who I had a contact with uh, from Quark, Cassia from Quark, uh, founded Quark and uh, they always test their gear themselves. They're heading out to Chile now into the Andes mountains and uh, are checking out a new product line so I'm really curious um, to see how that goes. They'll be back in December and I hope they uh, they have some good news for us all. Yeah, what else can I say for it? It's about time to wash it. So after this I'll be uh, taping a little bit, a uh, little segment to show you how it still looks after it gets washed, you know, maybe the color fades or whatever. But I don't expect that because people have been using them for 25 years and I think they get washed a few times. So. Follow me to the washing machine and I'm really going to show you that I put it in, you know, it's like 
not like oh we didn't put it in and stuff like that because yeah we need a fair judgment of course well, let me just turn on a light here so we've got something to show you look all the dirty sports clothes in there stuff goes in oh yes and then I don't use this machine that much but just press start There it goes. Catch you guys later when this stuff is washed and uh, let's see how it held up. Okay guys, we're back and washed them. Oh, they smell nice and flowery, but always watch the washing label. I'll show you and I hope you guys can see it. That is the washing label. Let's get a little bit closer. That is the washing label. No tumble drying. Washing on 30 degrees. And avoid the use of fabric softeners. All the other signs, I don't know what they mean, but I think you can iron it. It would be strange. But always wash, watch the washing label when you uh, wash this kind of garment, of course. We washed it according to the washing label and it's all fine. Didn't get smaller, still fits perfectly around my uh, tightly shaped body. And uh, the Polartec Power Soft material is just perfect still. Um, thanks to Ecomotorware for uh, providing this stuff to us so we can test it and bring the review to you. Uh, go and check out their shop once. It's a really great place to go, really expert help. So uh, check it out. It's in Belgium, Kontig. So maybe for the people who live in America or stuff like that, it's a little bit hard to go there. But if you're ever in Belgium, visit them. Uh, go to our uh, Facebook. Give us a follow or a like. And uh, do it the same at Instagram. And uh, if you like the video, then subscribe here or like the video. Thank you very much and see you guys later.